How do you make a great camera stand for filming projects in your small workshop? There are a ton of other videos about this, but before you go watch any of those, stick around, watch this one, because I got some new ideas and different thoughts about how to do it that I think are kind of cool. And then maybe you'll go off and you'll make a better version than mine and it'll be awesome. So let's get to work. This 3D printed collet clamp is central to how this whole thing is gonna work. Um, it grips the same way your router or a Dremel tool holds onto a bit, so it's got pretty good holding power for its size. And um, these files are gonna be available for free on my website. It's sized to fit onto half inch steel pipe, so I can turn any old pipe clamp into a fixture for my camera. And you'll also see here, um, I've been working on this 3D printed camera rig for my iPhone and I'll include a link to that as well if you're interested in checking that out. So you might say to yourself, great, this thing works for a lightweight phone on the end, but how much weight can it hold? Wouldn't be complete if we didn't try to figure that out. All right, I think we're gonna have to get another bucket. Oh. There it goes. All right. Okay, we figured it out. So upon inspection of our aftermath, it's in pretty good shape. These screws started to strip out of the wood a bit, um, but the plastic parts all seem fine. It was not a catastrophic failure. Um, but yeah, I think not too shabby. Now, I also want to have a freestanding floor model that I can move around like a tripod, but with a smaller base and a, and a few more capabilities like this sliding horizontal arm so I can get out over my workbench, out over a table and get a top-down shot easily. Now this basic configuration of the XY axis movement is very similar to the FOBA stand which is a super nice very expensive camera arm. Um, if you're looking to build something like that, I would definitely recommend checking out a video by Alex Chappelle, who does an amazing job of design and engineering building, building his version. Someday, maybe I'll get there, but for now, um, keeping things a little bit simpler and a little bit more compact for my space. And to help keep things compact, I'm using these two eight inch drawer slides for my horizontal extension. Um, so after playing with that first very crude version, I had the thought that maybe a collapsible mechanism would work better. Um, so we'll see how that works out in just a little bit. And if you've stuck around this long and you're enjoying what you see, please give this video a like and consider subscribing. It would really help me out. This aluminum angle bracket is what we will mount our phone to on the end of our sliding arm. And here you see as I'm installing it on the on the pipe, it's pretty loosey goosey. But once I tie this together with that board that runs all the way down to the base, it'll tighten things up and uh, it's pretty solid. All right, so first the things that are working well. Size wise, I think this is great. It extends a ton, awesome. Stability is kind of awful but I have an idea on how we're gonna fix that. So I've got a couple of aluminum bars here with a hinge and we're gonna hinge it off of here and then connect it to the end. And I think adding this in the other direction is gonna allow it to oh, add some stability and keep the collapsibility. Do 
doing a real quick test here. I have pinned this in the back. Uh, the arm will trim that down to size and I've just clamped it in the front. And already this is really good. I think this is gonna do the trick. I'm gonna 3D print a part to go here and attach this as a pivot point. Um, and we'll see how that turns out. So far, I'm loving this thing. I can very quickly move from floor level to up over my head, and the horizontal extension is there when I need it and gets out of my way when I don't. Now, I would not use this as a camera slider per se. It's really good for quick repositioning, but I wouldn't say it's stable enough for filming while moving. And for the base, now it's just on some plastic furniture sliders, and I've got removable stone blocks tucked in the uh, the front openings there. I figure if I need to get this out of my way, I can pull out the weights and toss this up in the rafters for storage. Thanks for watching. See you next time.